Still in Malaysia, where its first Zika patient has been told by the health ministry that she can go home. Health Director General Datuk Dr. Noor Hisham Abdullah confirmed that the 58-year-old woman had been discharged from the Sungai Bulo Hospital. ABC correspondent Jenica Fahidero reports from Malaysia. The first Malaysian to contract the Zika virus, as confirmed by the health ministry last Monday, is now recovering. According to her doctor at the Sungai Bulo Hospital, where she was warded, the Tom Dr. Christopher Lee, the hospital's infectious disease head, said 58-year-old woman from Temen Botanic in Klangsa Langor no longer exhibited symptoms of the disease. The star reported, Doctor did a blood test and if turns out to be negative, they can let her go in a few days' times. The blood test will indicate conclusively if she was free of Zika. The patient's mild rashes was said to have subsided while the last blood test was negative. The country's first Zika patient is believed to have been infected when she and her husband visited their daughter in Singapore on August 19 and returned on August 21. She was immediately referred to the Sungai Bulo Hospital on complaining of symptoms. On August 31, her urine sample tested positive for the Zika virus. The authorities have started vector control activities in the Taman Botanic residential neighborhood where the patient lives and other places she visited in Klang and Kuala Lumpur between August 21 and 28 to prevent the spread of the Aedes mosquito bone virus. Reporting here in Kuala Lumpur, I am Jenica Figuidera and I am one with 25.